Welcome to another Fun Again Games Friday update. The fact that you're here means you survived uh, the Black Friday morning and Thanksgiving, so good for you. Castles of Burgundy, a dice game, economic city building game for one to five players by Ravensburger. Lucha Jefe, a bluffing sports card game for two players by Gray Fox Games. Brezev's War, a strategy war game for one to two players by Compass Games. Three new expansions for Nurashima Hex, including Vegas, Smart, and Iron Game. Two to four players for by Portal Games. New expansions for Raiders of the North Sea include Field of Fame and Hall of Heroes. Explorers of the North Sea, new standalone in the North Sea series for one to four players by Renegade Games. The North Sea Rune Saga acts as an expansion for all North Sea games for two to four players by Renegade Games. Zendo 2nd Edition, a simultaneous action and deduction family game for three to five players by Looney Labs. Fable Fruit, the Limes Expansion, an animal worker placement game for two to five players by Stronghold Games. Kepler English Edition, economic space exploration game for one to four players by Renegade Game Studios. Battle for Rokugan, an area control board game set in the world of L5R for two to five players by Fantasy Flight Games. All right, and the reason you're really here is to see what's new in stock. Let's take a look over here. All right, we've got a couple of uh, card packs for Seven Wonders. We've got uh, Cities and Leaders. We have a new Mythos pack for Arkham Horror the Card Game. This is The Unspeakable Oath. Doctor Who Flux. Everything you love about Flux with Doctor Who. Flux is a game for two to six players, ages eight and up, takes about five to 30 minutes. We have another Dynasty pack for Legend of the Five Rings, or L5R to those of you in the know. <clears throat> There's Control, Escape the Rupture. This is a uh, time travel card game where you're trying to stop your opponents from uh, making it back in time. We have some new Exit the Game games. <laughs> We've got the Forbidden Castle. These games are one to four players, ages 12 and up. Take about one to two hours. We've got the Polar Station. And the Forgotten Island. These are a single use game, so it's more of an experience than a board game, but they are tons of fun. Kind of an escape room style game, all in one little box. All right, we've got Tramways and the Tramways of Small City. <clears throat> we've got uh, some new games from Taiwan this week. We've got Sorcerers and Stones. Uh, my Dungeon Boss, Never Lie. Very cute dungeon style art game. Legacy of Dragon Holt, not a Taiwan game, but worth mentioning all the same. 
This game is ages 14 and up for one to six players. This is by Fantasy Flight, and it is a self-contained role-play adventure. All your books, maps, everything that you need to play are right inside the box. Bard Saga. Very rustic, old-timey uh, game with an interesting story. Uh, Homer created two uh, epic ballads, and uh, there was a rumor he made a third one. And now you are bards trying to find the hidden third uh, epic. Got the labors of Hercules. This is a game for. It's all in Taiwan. Well, it's a game for you. <laughs> Say Cheese, a wacky face game. You have face tiles that uh, show you what you're supposed to be doing. And uh, yeah, I think you actually get to shoot pictures of each other. Harvest Island, a fruit growing game. I know Harvest Island is on a lot of people's pre-order lists right now. Ages eight and up for two to four players. Takes about 30 minutes. We have some expansive material for Massive Darkness. We've got Noble Warrior, Warriors, not Warriors. Noble Warriors versus the Cockatrice, Cockatrix. I think it's Tricks. Tricks. Depends on the uh, mythos here. <laughs> Greeting. That is a cool giant chicken, though. It's a chicken. Yeah. And then we've got a brand new uh, campaign with uh, new tiles for your Massive Darkness game. There's a picture of what some of those look like. Six crystal and lava tiles and nine new Massive Darkness tiles. Pretty cool. My story, where your goal is to uh, live a full life in 60 minutes or less. <laughs> Juliet's Letter. This is a game for ages 10 and up. Five to 10 players. 15, 30 minutes. Looks like it's sort of a party game set in the world of Romeo and Juliet. We've got Catamino Family. This is a puzzle game between kids and parents where you are racing to complete your puzzles first. And those puzzles can take the form of, uh, which finger, okay. <laughs> Filling your grid or creating 3D shapes. Pretty awesome. Reminds me a little bit of the uh, game Junk Art. Uh, we have an exp a uh, chapter pack for Game of Thrones, the card game. The Archmaster's Key. Archmaster. Archmaster. Wild West Shepherds. This is a four to seven player game, ages 10 and up, takes about 25 minutes. Got a hero set for Rum and Bone, Second Tide, Blutrausch. More heroes, always welcome in Rum and Bones. Excellent pirate miniatures game. Azul, another long-awaited game. It's a very colorful, very fun-looking tile-laying game that uh, we are actually going to be playing this Wednesday. So make sure you tune in at uh, 5.30 on Wednesday, Pacific time. And we're gonna be playing Azul. And we're gonna be giving away a copy. What? <laughs> and we're gonna be giving away a copy. We've got Dream Wars. Ugh. That is a heavy game. 
fantastic art in Dream Wars. This game is for one to eight players, 60 to 120 minutes, so free up your afternoon, ages 14 and up. And uh, the game changes depending on how well you're playing, so it's a little bit different every time you try it. There's a, an 80 page ordeal booklet in there, book in there. Oh my gosh! 80 pages. Part of it is dice. This is a dice throwing, veggie growing game. Oh man, I should market these things. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <I> am! <laughs> This game takes about 30 minutes, ages 8 and up for 2 to 4 players. It's kind of a Yahtzee style game with a stock market mechanic. Alright, I was excited about these. I thought these were pretty cool. We've got uh, numeracy legends. And what's amazing about these games is they are adventure style fantasy games for younger kids. Uh, ages like 5 and up it suggests. Um, that uses decision making and memorization and all the things that you usually see in these kids board games but uses a really fun adventure style game like mom and dad's games so it's fun for kids it's fun for parents and it looks like each of these three games uses a slightly different style of uh, gameplay Got Sid Meier's Civilization, A New Dawn. It's the board game of the video game. This is by Fantasy Flight. Recommended ages 14 and up for two to four players. Takes about one to two hours. This game is supposed to be simple to learn, but still complex enough to uh, have a really great time building up your civilization. We have an expansion to Dream Home, 156 Sunny Street. Got more construction plans, more family and friends. We have several new pieces for your Fire Team Zero game. We've got a uh, monster pack, and they always have these amazing mutated Resident Evil-ish type of uh, monsters in this game. Very scary looking. So there's a monster pack. We've got uh, red and blue uh, team challenge missions. A spawn point pack, because it's always more fun to have 3D pieces in your games. And then lastly, for Fireteam Zero, we've got the Squad Tactics. Oh, it's squad, it is a Squad Tactics. <laughs> <laughs> the Africa Cycle. If I started at the top, I would have seen that first. And then it's a Squad Tactics board game. And yeah, let's see. This is an expansion to your uh, Fireteam Zero game. The cool thing about this game is it's got some fully voiced missions. It's got a music CD. It's got colorful boards, a lot of fun, very challenging, nice, uh, scary board game. Whoop. <laughs> Here, put all the heavy games on top. Through the Desert. This game is for two to five players, it takes about 45 minutes, ages 14 and up. This is a reprint of a classic game. Yeah, it's a very attractive looking game. Got a great board, lots of colorful uh, uh, pieces to put on your board, and was worth bringing back a second time. Let's see, we have an army expansion for Rune Wars, the miniature game, also by Fantasy Flight. Big week for Fantasy Flight. What, what army is that? <laughs> the Uthuk Yilan. Yilan. I'll bet it's Uthuk. Uthuk Yilan. I thought you long. <laughs> All right. They have some very exciting looking new miniatures in there for you to paint up and add to your collection. 
And then we have more Thuculon uh, Infantry Command. So you got more uh, more characters to add to your Thuculon army. It it's spelled with a th. All right, we got some very heavy uh, big box games here. We've got Next War Poland. These games are very big with uh, collectors. Cool historical games with using uh, real maps, real armies. We've got Here I Stand, Wars of the Reformation. This game is very heavy. So this is for ages 14 and up. Game scale, four years per turn. I don't know what that means. <laughs> One turn equals four years of gameplay. Four years of war. Okay. Years. <laughs> and then we've got Guilford, Saratoga, and Brandywine. The Tribac Battles of the American Revolution. Got three games in it. Yeah. Games. Very cool. All right, so that is what's new. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, best sellers this week. At number five, Rick and Morty Total Recall. Total Rickall. <laughs> Roundhouse at number four. Roundhouse. At number three, Council of Verona. Number two is Scythe. And number one this week, Terraforming Mars. All right, time for this week's Game of the Week. This week's Game of the Week is Betrayal at Baldur's Gate. If you have played uh, Betrayal at House on the Hill, you already know how amazing this game is. This is 30% off on uh, Fun Again Games or FunAgain.com this week, and uh, yeah, just a really fun game uh, that changes up from game to game with uh, different scenarios. You don't really know where the game's gonna end up until it's over, so a lot of fun there. Possible different ones. 50, yeah. and that's until they come up with expansions for it. Yeah. Um, also this week, as you know, it's Black Friday, so get on FunAgain.com and save yourself some bucks. That's going to be going until Monday at 2 p.m. Um, stay tuned next, uh, next week for the, again, the Friday update, always at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we've got game nights uh, every Wednesday at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. And this week we are going to be playing, like I said, Azul. Azul. All right. So... Stick with us while we play that and give away a free copy of Azul, Wednesday, 5.30. Standard time. Thank you, Funnyginians. I will see you next time. <laughs>